John Patrick Bedell had a history of mental illness, hospitalized as many as four times, arrested at least once. But that did not keep him from getting the guns that could have turned the Pentagon into another Fort Hood massacre. He was very well armed. I will tell you he had two 9 millimeter semi-automatic weapons and many magazines. And he was apparently consumed by a get-rich-quick scheme which he advertised on YouTube. Hi, I'm happy to have the opportunity to talk with you today about information currency. And by conspiracy theories. One of his blogs suggested the government was behind the 9-11 attacks. His parents, who live in this gated community in Hollister, California, were so concerned about their 36-year-old son that when he left home, they filed this missing person report. We just missed him, you know, looking around the Hollister area in uh, the northern end of the county here to locate him. We never did locate him. His parents warned the sheriff their son might be armed. He had made a $600 purchase at a shooting range in the Sacramento area of California. Last night, after driving cross country and leaving his car in a nearby parking lot, he walked up to two policemen guarding a main entrance to the Pentagon and opened fire at point blank range. All of it captured on a still unreleased surveillance tape. He was very calm. There was no um, distress in his appearance. Uh, he walked very, very directly to the officers and engaged. He only grazed the policeman who returned fire, killing him with a shot to the head. The end of a life destroyed by mental illness, but not the mass tragedy it might have been. The Fort Hood incident put us on notice that it could happen even in a military reservation. This afternoon, Bedell's parents released a statement saying his actions were caused by mental illness, not a defective character. Katie. David Martin reporting from the Pentagon tonight. Thank you, David. Bob Orr is our justice correspondent. Bob, if this suspect was hospitalized for mental illness, perhaps as many as four times, how was he able to purchase not one, but two handguns? Well, Katie, that is the big question. We have to say right now, it's still not at all clear when or where Bedell got those two guns, and we don't know yet if he owned them legally. But as you mentioned, the biggest question does involve his mental health history. Now, his family says he was in and out of treatment multiple times for bipolar disorder. We don't know, though, if those treatments were ordered by a court. Now, this is important. If there was a court order or if Bedell was ever deemed to be a threat to himself or other people, then that information should have shown up on a background check preventing him from ever owning a weapon in California. In California, a legal person can buy one handgun every 30 days. There is a 10-day waiting period for each of the weapons. But also note this, in neighboring states like Arizona and Nevada, well, there, weapons can be bought in private sales with no background checks. So tonight, investigators are still pressing very hard for these answers. Katie? All right. Bob Orr in Washington. Bob, thank you.